Hi, my name is John and I'm here today to talk to you and demonstrate to you a device called the Spooky Box. And the Spooky Box is my creation and I call it the Spooky Box in honor of Albert Einstein who when he was introduced to quantum entanglement referred to quantum entanglement as being spooky action at a distance. So what I've been able to do over the years is I discovered how I can take quantum entanglement out of the laboratory and make it practical. And in quantum entanglement, if you're not familiar with it, is one of the characteristics of quantum physics to where they say that at the subatomic level, subatomic particles, when they interact, are always connected. And no matter how far away you move those subatomic particles from each other, there's always a connection, whether it's on the other side of the Earth or on the other side of the galaxy. And if you change the characteristics of one, instantaneously the other changes. That is called quantum entanglement, one of the great mysteries of quantum physics. Well, over the years of research and trial and error, I have come up with a way to bring that out of the laboratory and make it practical. And we're going to demonstrate that here. And I'm going to use a little prototype that I built early on. And we're going to look and see this young lady here, if she has any imbalances of energy in her body, and the way we're going to do that, we're going to use a patented diagnostic application that was patented back in 1979 to where the people who did the research actually discovered that you can use a magnet as a diagnostic tool. And they found that if you sit a person down in a chair or lay them down and you equalize their leg lengths with their shoes on, and you apply a north or south pole magnetic polarity to the body, checking the liver and the pancreas and the, the colon and the kidney and so forth, if there is an imbalance of energy in those organs and they're not functioning properly, the polarity of, that, of the magnet will have an effect on the body and actually cause neuromuscular changes that will actually cause one leg to shorten. And it's a very subtle thing. I mean, the person doesn't get up and walk with a limp or anything. It's very subtle if you know how to check it. So what we have here is two heavy-duty magnets, and we're only going to use one that has a North Pole and South Pole. So we're going to let this young lady hold this magnet here, and let's see if there's any imbalances of energy in her body that we can correct. So if you'll take the South Pole and apply it to your rib cage, your right rib cage, which is her liver, and I pick up her feet, her leg shortens and it shortens about two inches and I can't get the leg to come back to normal. I push and pull on that leg. As long as she's got the magnet there, her leg is short, about two inches. So if you turn the magnet over to the north pole, and now the legs do not shorten, cannot get it to shorten. And that's interesting, turn it back over to the south pole, and the south pole causes her leg to shorten again. So take and move it underneath your breast right over to your pancreas there, and we pick up the feet, and the leg shortens again, about two inches. So turn it back over. So we're applying the north pole, and the north pole does not react. Cannot get her leg to shorten. Turn it back over to the south pole, and the south pole reacts. So carry it down to your belt line, and the south pole energy reacts to her body, and her descending colon, it shortens, turn it back over, and it comes back to normal indicating that her body is reacting to the south pole energy of the battery doesn't mean that her that she has any type of disease since we're not dealing with disease here we're just looking for imbalances of energy that could create symptoms so we want to see if we can have an effect on her body at a distance based on quantum entanglement so you've got a little piece of tissue there so if you tear the corner of that tissue off and just wet it with your saliva, we'll take a sample of your DNA. And if you just fold it up, okay, and we'll take that DNA and we'll put it in the box. And before we close the box, we'll check her again. So take the uh, South Pole, put it on your liver, Okay, and as soon as we do that, her leg shortens. Turn it over, comes right back to normal on the North Pole. Okay, turn it to the South Pole, shortens again. Okay, so we've had no effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and put her DNA in this energy field at a distance. Now she's still got the magnet on her liver, 
But we pick the feet up and it doesn't change. Turn it back over to the North Pole, doesn't change. Turn it over to the South Pole, doesn't change. Cannot get her leg to shorten. So move it over to the pancreas, does not change. Flip it over, cannot get it to change. Move it down to the colon, does not change. Turn it over, does not change. Cannot get her le legs to shorten at all. So we open the box up and we take the DNA out and she's still got the magnet on there, her leg short. Turn it over, doesn't shorten. Move it back to your liver, okay. That's the North Pole, turn it over, shortens on the South Pole, just like it did before. Turn, move it to your pancreas, okay. Shortens just like it did before, cannot get the leg to come back to normal. We put the DNA back in the box, turn it over, leg comes right back to normal. Does not shorten it off, turn it over does not shorten at all. This is a demonstration to show that using quantum entanglement we can actually have an effect on a person at a distance. So thank you very much.